Join us as we embark upon a remarkable journey with Gary Robert Swanson that spans over 40 years of his artistic and adventuresome travels with two films that have never been publicly released before and were almost lost to history forever. Recently discovered after nearly three decades, the films American Historian and Twilight of a Continent have been remastered and preserved now for all times. They reflect the works and tireless talents of Gary, film photographer Basil Bradbury, film editor Joe Morrissey, and the voice talents of Rick Jason. A team of extremely talented artists, film producers, editors, and contributors that nearly 30 years ago had a vision for North American and African wildlife painting and film documentaries. One that will rival anything that you've likely seen before. Gary Robert Swanson is now at the end of his illustrious career and the only surviving member of this incredible team of professionals. Gary will join us in studio throughout this presentation to share his thoughts and reflections about his career, the making of these truly remarkable documentaries, and how 30 plus trips throughout North America, four African safaris, and nearly 30,000 feet of film was shot in order to complete these productions. Come with us now as we journey back into history with An American Historian and Twilight of a Continent. Living on the farm instilled in me a keen awareness of the things of beauty that surround us all. It's spooky. Many of the wild places I've painted are already gone. I want the viewer to look at the painting of the big orange sheep or the lion and know that's exactly what it was like. Art to me is recorded history. I just hope I live long enough to paint what I've experienced. This man is an artist. Even more, he's a recorder of his times, times which are all too rapidly passing. He once spent 13 years as a taxidermist where knowledge of bone and muscle structure to the fraction of an inch is indispensable. This knowledge now serves him well, for accuracy is important to him. He really is a historian. Sculpting for him is a relaxation. 
painting is his passion. It's in the paintings, above all, that he gives us images that will never die of a world that surely will. He is a wildlife painter. His name is Gary Swanson. This is the Absaroka Range of the Montana Rockies, home to the great Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep. It's November, and it's just snowed, and it is the rut, mating season. Rams, who have been summer-long companions, now become rivals for the ewes. These two are exchanging insults, each sort of saying to the other, you remind me of some females I've known. Next will come the crashing of horns as the majestic courtship of the big horns begins. These great rams weigh 300 pounds or more, with eyesight equal to that of an eight-power binocular. Winter will bring nature's severest test to these sheep, the fight to survive on wind-blown ridges. Those that make it through the ordeal will find new grass in the spring, Ewes will give forth their newborn, rams will head for the lofty peaks to fatten on the lush vegetation and survey their domain. Bighorn sheep have to be America's number one wildlife heritage. Viewing them in their lofty mountain homes is kind of a disease that can be cured only by advancing age. A paint sketch is just a way of taking notes of preserving the moment. In this case, the color and texture of the moment. It is all for the time later, back in the studio, when Gary executes the final painting.